Hello and welcome back to a new video. So in my last video about the Steam Deck, I touched upon how the Steam Deck is great because you can turn it into a desktop computer. And I got so many emails and questions asking me, how do I do that? Because it seems like quite a complicated and complex process, when in reality, it's so simple and so easy. The great thing about it is it's really cheap to do. You don't need any kind of expensive gear. I know there's a Steam Dock thing coming out later. I don't know if it's out yet, but it's kind of expensive. And you really don't need it because all you need to create this desktop experience with a Steam Deck is one simple thing. What you're going to need is one of these. Basically, it's just a USB hub with a USB-C connector. So this is the USB-C hub. And it's also got us B, B's or USB A's and it's also got HDMI cable and an SD card slot. So when you're looking for a USB hub, make sure it doesn't just have only USB ports. You want everything really. You want Ethernet, you want HDMI, you want a card reader maybe, that'd be also kind of useful. And definitely want USB C's and this cable is also important. You want this to be a USB C so it can go straight into the Steam Deck without needing any kind of adapters. Now, when you've got this USB hub, you can transform the Steam Deck into something magical because it will allow you to basically plug in anything you want to into the Steam Deck. You can plug in webcams, mics, gaming controllers, and obviously the basics like a keyboard, monitor, and a mouse. And this is what I have plugged into my USB hub. I've got a wireless mouse Logitech dongle reader thing so it can transmit wirelessly and I've got a HDMI cable that connects to the monitor and I've got a cable here that connects to my keyboard and that's it really and when you have all of this stuff plugged in you can turn your Steam Deck into a desktop computer look at this I've got full mouse functionality on the Steam homepage front page thing so I can scroll up and down um, don't know why it it doesn't scroll down anymore. I think that's the end of the page. So I can go to Steam, use the Steam button interface on the screen by clicking on it. So you can see the back button. And you can go to library, you can look at the games you've got installed. I've got 63 games on Steam, uh, most of which do work on the Steam Deck. Apart from the, obviously the VR game is not going to work. And then you've got the search bar up here. I searched something weird earlier, but you can just use keyboard like that and it works completely perfectly. So you can type really fast. You won't be able to type that fast with the touch screen keyboard. Unfortunately, when you've got the touch screen keyboard on the monitor, uh, obviously, I mean, you can't touch it anymore because it's not touch screen anymore. I don't know if you can touch the Steam Deck and would it correlate to it? Mm, it's doing something. No, I don't think touching the Steam Deck screen does anything when it's on the monitor. Can't touch it on the monitor either, but you can use the mouse back and forwards buttons. So you can navigate the Steam page pretty well like that. So think of a game you want to search. For example, let's say you wanted to look for Jet Set Radio. Wow, is that on Steam? No way. What? Jet Set Radio is on Steam. £5.99. I did not know Jet Set Radio was on Steam. I might buy it. Does it work on Steam Deck? It says playable. Some in-game text is small and maybe difficult to read. Huh. I just randomly thought of Jet Set Radio. Didn't think it would really be on Steam. Interesting. I don't know what else you can get on Steam these days. I've got a very small desk, as you can see. I had to turn it sideways so I could fit the monitor and the keyboard on. Otherwise, it kept fedding over. Um, what other games can we test out the keyboard? Um, Warhammer. So yeah, the keyboard evidently works pretty well. And here we have the desktop mode where it acts like a normal computer with 
uh, windows, I mean, not the operating system windows, but I mean, windows of applications or programs like Firefox, you can drag it around the screen and resize it and sw swing it over to the Steam Deck screen, which is down there. So this is the primary screen and then it opens up your monitor as like an external screen, like an extended screen. So you can have two screens. You could be on Tinder on, on this screen or anything else, maybe YouTube. You can have a YouTube video playing here maybe. And then you can have your, your WordPad open here. Maybe you are doing some homework or studying something like that on your WordPad. And then you can also be checking the exchange rate for yen and pound, which is doing pretty well if you have pounds and you want to ch change that into yen. Then maybe now is a good time with Japan possibly reopening nearing the end of this year. Might consider buying some yen. I don't know. Yen is pretty weak right now. So anyway. <laughs> Look, got YouTube working on my Steam Deck. That's so funny. So you could be watching YouTube on the side like that, watching your favorite YouTuber, and you can be doing stuff on the web browser here, on Firefox. Um, don't know what else you can do. Maybe there's like a calculator somewhere. So you can operate the Steam Deck using the mouse on this side. Expand it. Uh, I could also bring it over to the main screen is over here but the sound is coming from the steam deck because my monitor doesn't have built-in speakers and then you go full screen on youtube on the big screen and maybe you can play games i don't know if you can play games in desktop mode i'm gonna try that see what happens so i'm gonna try opening what should i try opening maybe something small that won't take a lot of time to to open maybe some cult of the lamb i'm hoping it just opens a game on this screen and then i can switch which screen i want it to be on and then i can just play the game and have youtube on the second screen at the same time that'd be pretty cool i don't know if it's going to switch back to gaming mode or if it's going to stay on desktop mode oh oh it looks like it's doing what i hoped it would do it's got, oh, it's got the game open with multiple tabs open. Oh, it feels kind of weird though. Like, it's a bit delayed. Let me try plug my controller in. Oh, wow, it's actually working how I thought it would, how I hoped it would. So I got YouTube open here. I guess I don't even need the mouse because I can just tap it. Oh no, now it closed the game down. Um, let me bring the game back up. This is a little bit fiddly because there's no tab bar at the bottom on the monitor. So I have to come back over to this the Steam Deck screen, minimize YouTube again, reopen the game. The thing is when I click anything on the second screen, it minimizes the game on the other screen. So I need to finish doing everything I need to do on this screen first, I guess. So play. But then when I go into full screen on this, I won't be able to click on the game again. Hmm, bit weird. See, when I go full screen here, it, it opens the full screen there. But then I can't click on the game unless there's some kind of shortcut. Okay, I found the shortcut. You have to hold Alt and Tab. And then you can switch between the different things that are open on this bar, which is pretty nice. So I've got YouTube playing on full screen, but now it's kind of, it's a bit laggy. Look, it's not smooth. I don't know if you can play Cult of Lamb using keyboard and mouse. Let me try. Oh, now it's just gone. Okay, this isn't the best experience I'm having. Maybe you wouldn't want to do this because the game is really slow as well. I think because I don't have, I don't have the charger plugged in. So it's on kind of battery saver mode. Why is nothing happening? Okay, maybe I can turn battery saver mode off. 
I don't know how to do that on the desktop mode. But it seems like, yeah, you can play the game with keyboard and mouse. But the frame rate is so bad. Yeah, maybe this is where the limits of the Steam Deck comes in. Or what if I try plug in my charger and see if it increases the performance? Okay, so I have my charger plugged into the USB hub at the back. Let's see if this makes any difference. I don't think it would. No, it's still still pretty rubbish performance on this. Look how look how laggy that is. Yeah, for multitasking, even though you can do it, I wouldn't recommend doing it. It doesn't feel smooth at all. So if I was going to do anything with this as like a desktop setup, I wouldn't play games. Everyone's dead in my village. Nearly everyone. Do you like my Cult of Lamb village? I got bored with this game because after you get everything and you've built everything, there's not really anything else to do apart from just farm the materials over and over again. So I wouldn't really recommend this because this game is this game should run really smoothly because it's not a very demanding game. Can you imagine trying to play Elden Ring like this? I'm surprised it could even do it, so I'm kind of impressed. It's still playing my YouTube video on the Steam Deck. But yeah, not, not a great experience. Anyway, that is how you turn Steam Deck into a desktop and the various things you can do with that. It's not the most powerful thing, but it can get the job done. Thanks for watching and goodbye.